Hi, welcome to Wiki Techy and Kashi and Fred. This is Venkat here. I'm going to talk about object-oriented programming. So, object-oriented programming is very powerful technique which is added to the program to become a well-versed technology which can be used in the real-time world. That's why, like object-oriented programming becomes real. Like it is very important and becomes a, it, it becomes a part of our life. So what is object oriented programming sir so i got an imagination and i made it as a real thing so that is called as that can be achieved with the object oriented programming so yeah the imagination is nothing but a class from that i got a real time object which which is nothing but your objects so you are able to write your programs with the class object technique that is where your object oriented programming becomes real famous and we are able to create lots with the one template i got one class with that we are able to create many objects so to create many 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 so we need some basic programming and a very strong programming that can be achieved with the object oriented programming and apart from that sir i need variety sir i got a blue color pawn i want to create green color red colors of varieties i am able to achieve it so there are some object oriented programming concepts which we can use like inheritance which we can use it to create such kind of things and apart from that object oriented programming is a closed one whatever things you want you can't see it now itself man you need to create an object i got a class the class is a box so you can't see what is there okay so it can be like it is enclosed to create an object you are able to access the things which is available in the class so it is highly secure programming technique which we can work it out so now this entry video i'm going to talk about the object oriented programming technique so welcome to my channel kashu infotech So as I told you, like every program, so can be written with a class object. If you talk about your C plus plus, it is a partial object oriented programming where you can have a class to write a program. If you don't want, you can leave it. Whereas your Java or a .NET program is purely an object oriented programming because whatever things you are writing, you should write in a class and you have to implement with objects. And this is Venkat from Kashiv Infotech Company. Welcome to a company like our company Kashiv Infotech. We are helping people to get job. We are able to you know, like help the people to build a career. So via our internship program and courses. So we are providing via online and offline. So internship in the sense, go to your company, learn the technology, build your profile, gain experience via that you can go for a job. So such kind of things we are working out. We are helping people. And if you want to contact me at any time, you can contact me via my contact numbers. So here is my contact numbers. And if the people are not picking the phone, just send your WhatsApp message. So we will respond to you. If they are still responding, so you can send an email id so this is our email you can send an email we will give response immediately so these are three contact points you can use it to reach us very easily people okay apart from that this is my insta account if you want to contact me and talk to me personally to get some guidance yes you can do it man so this is my insta account click this follow button you can contact me at any time i'm ready to help you and i can talk to you okay so click this message follow button and send me a message hi <laughs> to the companies and recruiters i request people to like share your job description to us we will be giving the best candidates to you at your wish with all the conditions which you are applied and apart from that to my students and to my subscribers so if like if you are like got a career break degree non completed non it anything please contact me treat me as a brother 
talk to me i am ready to help you people any time you can contact me okay so yes let's move on here like uh, we are going to talk about what is object oriented programming okay let's move on so object oriented programming okay so before this is a kind of a related video and we got a lot of videos a continuation of this my previous videos i'm giving this particular video so we are going to talk about the very basic concepts of class and object what is an abstraction and what is encapsulation and what is you got a live i'm going to show you the live program people how to execute it how to write the code and execute it live implementations and you got your polymorphism concepts and finally you got some inheritance concepts so these are the areas we are going to discuss now so let's move on so yes <clears throat> okay so let's talk about the history of object oriented programming so if you talk about the history of object oriented programming the first thing is like uh, you got your basics of b language that is the initial language created so b language is not used in real time uh, application creation sir like hotel building management system or something like that that's why your c languages come c language is awesome but the major problem is like uh, we couldn't use it to create multiple things i i got one thing sir i want to create pins uh, thousands of pins your c program can't work that's why you great the great technology comes that's a c++ which got the class and object model that is called object oriented programming so with the, the programming written with the object basis so the, the object is used in this program that's why like it is called object oriented programming okay now let's move on to the part 2 area like what is a class and an object model okay so if we talk about your class and object model so here is the class a class is nothing but a blueprint or a template sir a pen in the photo sir that is your class but a real pen that is your object so one photo on seeing the photo i create a lot of pins man so class is a template object is an instance of a class and it is a real world entity the photo in the pen i can't write but the pen real pen i can write that is why your class object model works okay so if we talk about the class object model you can see a student is a class with a name age color sex he like behaviors this is called as a properties and this is called as functions so the property and the function sir how this guy looks sir and what he is doing sir over here this is an object so one class object 1 is created object 2 is created object 3 is created a class will have the properties and the functions okay functions so everything will differ between the objects okay so you can see name venkat the age is this one the color the sex and this guy is nature okay and this guy property is this one okay this is how the segregation so only one class is created you are able to create real time objects okay that is where the difference starts okay now let's move on to the part 3 like uh, is a programming stuff on easy sir i'm going to show you the simple steps of how this class object programming is written okay let's move on okay so class object because before the like our company kashu infotech we are into social networks people so my insta account my telegram email whatsapp contact numbers and apart from that i got my linkedin facebook twitter everywhere you can contact me via and you can follow via any kind of networks we are ready to help you people okay <clears throat> let's move on here so there are many companies they are looking for students from our company and we are giving like yeah, we are sending the students for job opportunities you can contact us anytime so here is the one okay so here is one of the opportunity there is a opportunity for job in bahrain so they are for candidates from our company so this is opportunity for them to work company and uh, this opportunity is uh, relevant to embedded system and uh, yes this opportunity is relevant 50 freshers they are looking for from our company okay so this kind of huge openings are there and uh, over here you got software engineer they are looking for software engineers from our company so for bangalore opening android mobile application developer opening is there okay so such kind of enormous open opportunities are there now your question is like sir i want to become a software engineer sir what i can do is uh, it's very simple people okay so to become a software engineer it's very simple okay so start learning the things via internships or courses okay so via online or offline so first thing you just prefer which one you want to do it so our company is giving this kind of things and apart from that you have to build your profile in this area so learn some evergreen technology 
learn some latest technology, learn some coding related technology, finally learn some database technology. If you learn all the four, the job is yours. And here's the contact numbers. Anytime you just contact me and I gave my mail ID and WhatsApp number to you. Okay, so if we talk about evergreen, website designing is the latest evergreen technology. Learn it and learn some big data. See, learn everything. Learn all four. Then only like the opportunity will be huge for you. So learn big data, cloud operating, about some latest technology. And learn any one language, Dr. or Java or Python, any one language. Apart from that, over here, database technology like SQL Server, Oracle or MongoDB. So learn one. Two, three, four. The job is yours. Okay, so twenty thousand to one and a half lakhs every month. You are able to monthly salary and uh, any department, any degree, people can do it. Okay, so you just contact us. We are ready to help you people. Okay, so let's move on to like yeah. Uh, this is the question. Sir, is programming is very tough or easy, sir? So that is the question. So the answer is very simple. You can see this is how you are able to write a class program. So you got a class class car. I want to create lot of cars. For that, I got a class here. So class car, you got a bracket string color equal to red. That's good. Static wide main string. So this is a standard one for Java or C sharp or any language. So this is the main function where that is the entry of the project, entry of the program. Okay. So I need to create an object. So your class is ready. That's good. So you need to create an object. So how we can create an object, sir? So that is the one we are going to see it now. So this is the code. So this is how you will be creating an object. So you got the car. The object is here. Is equal to new car. So it is a red color car I want. Yes, that's it. I got a car with a red color man. The object name is my obj1. You can have any name. You can have any name. So the red color car is created. Okay, that's really awesome, man. So the class is created with the car. Sir, okay, sir. I want to create two or car, sir. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. I got car object one, object two, red for one, another car. So two colors are cars are created, sir. Ah, that's awesome, man. The coding is very easy, people. So two cars I've created. That's awesome, man. You got two cars now. Okay, this is how I got my two cars. So that's really awesome, sir. I want a red color and wild color car, sir. Is it possible? Yes. I got. You can see it here. You got a color is equal to violet, color is equal to red, and you can hear object one dot color. Oh my God, that is a mistake I made. This is color one. I made a mistake here. This is color one. So I got the red color. I got the violet color car. Okay. So you you can't have color color right over here. You need color one, color two, something like that. You should have. I made a small mistake. Sorry for that. So, but this is a piece of code over here. Color one, color two, color two, color one. You should have a little bit of changes. But this is how you are able to write the code. So you got two objects with the colors. Now, sir, like I want three colors, sir. Is it possible, color car, sir? Yes, it's possible, man. So you are able to see it here. Your red color car, your violet color car, and your blue color car, man. <laughs> oh, over here is object three. So I got three objects: a red color object, a white color object, a blue color object. Okay, over here you have got your red color, you got a red color here, and you got your red color. That's it, and you got your blue color card here. Okay, it's object three, so you can see. So over here I made a small mistake. It should be object three, and over here object three. Okay, so color one, color two, color three. Color one, color two, color three. You should change the code. Sorry, I made a small mistake. But the code is real simple, people. You can easily understand. Okay, this is how you are able to write your object-oriented programming. Let's move on to the live implementation in my website. I'll teach you like how we have written the coding part, people. It is very simple. What you can do is like just go to this link. I'll put this link in the description of the first comment. Just go to this link. So kashuinfotech.com/slash/dotnet-training. Training iPhone in Chennai. Okay, go to this link. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. You are able to see the links here. Here is the link. Object programming tutorial link is here. Object oriented programming tutorial is here. Inheritance everything is there. Okay. So over here, class object, constructor, inheritance, polymorphism, method overloading, encapsulation, destructor.
ஒரு <laughs> that's awesome so you are able to see the detailed explanation of class object programming how it works and a lot of details and here is the inheritance parts how the coding is written and how we need to like uh, uh, like understand the code with animations everything i given the sample codes everything you can use things and learn as much as you can okay so we have done all the practical things over here so just go to this link kashuinfotech.com/.net iphone training iphone in chennai okay just go to this link and learn as much as you can i think it's time for me to move on here let's move on to the part 3 so part 3 is real good okay so it's part 4 i guess what to use this object oriented programming so that is a question so if we talk about the object oriented programming question four areas are there here so concepts of object oriented programming or abstraction and abstraction inheritance so these are the things we are using it to use it in the real time world for creating pins for creating your websites for creating any kind of objects you need class object programming the first one is abstraction abstraction is providing a high level view sir i want to buy a car sir for the car owner you can tell like sir 100 km speed sir So inside 100 km speed sir and you got this like a safety bar like a balloons are there sir you got four uh, uh, four uh, like a side mirrors are there sir you can provide such kind of information instead if i give you a yeah, high level your yeah, yeah, deep level information so this car engine if you got your car like a petrol it is converted to hydrocarbon and it is burning and it will burst and you are able to get to the 100 km right hey, why are you telling this much to me man okay that's why so again a class will have an abstraction technique where you are able to give only the high level is more than enough first give the high level man and afterwards you can give the in depth so you over sure the high level information can be achieved with the abstraction technique and everything is encapsulated you got the function libraries methods and variables everything is capsuled as the concept of encapsulation until it is secure to enforce security okay until you create an object whatever things in the class no one knows it that is called as encapsulation the other one is polymorphism utilizing the father's property utilizing father's property and preparing and making your child that is your inheritance and finally you got the polymorphism existing in different form over here you are able to see a mom will be a mother to a child wife for a husband and employee for a company the so same person react in different way that is called as polymorphism okay so hope you understand lot of things about object oriented programming concept and it's time for me to say goodbye to you our company kashin for we are providing online internships and offline internship at a chennai office you can contact me at any time and apart from that i request you people to share this video to your friends and everyone let's spread some good information and let's transform the society it's time for me to say goodbye to you this is venkat signing out from wiki tiki and kashin for jai hind thank you